I'm Jerry. I'm Jesse. And I'm Marina, and welcome to Neighborhood Nature. What's up, scientists? It's me, Jesse. Welcome back to Neighborhood Nature. Today, we're still at the Presidio, and we're rolling some of these logs to look for slender salamanders. Let's take a look and see if we can find one. Nope, none under here. Let's go look for another one. Tell me more about salamanders, Jesse. Well, these salamanders love to live in dark, moist areas, such as underneath logs like this one right here. I wonder if we'll find one underneath this log. Let's take a look. We're going to roll it. Ready? Oh, look, I found one. Look, it's a salamander. Slender salamanders can be found in forests, grasslands, and nearby streams and lakes, ranging along parts of California and Oregon. They love to hang out in dark, wet areas, like under logs, where they can find food and hide from predators. If you gently lift some logs, there is a chance you might find a slender salamander. Slender salamanders eat small insects such as beetles, crickets, and spiders. If you ever find these small insects under a log or rock, there is a good chance a slender salamander is living nearby. Hey, Miss Horn, do you know what time it is? Bark that! <laughs> <laughs> Did you know that there is a fort in the Presidio? It's named Fort Point. It's located right underneath the Golden Gate Bridge. Fort Point was built to protect the bay during the gold rush. You can explore the fort and learn more about its history next time you visit the Presidio. Did you know slender salamanders don't have lungs? Lungs are what helps us to breathe. Go ahead and take a deep breath. That's your lungs working to help us breathe. These salamanders don't have lungs and instead breathe through their skin. If you are out looking for critters like slender salamanders, always remember to put the rocks and logs that you are looking under back where you originally found them, since they are homes to many animals and plants. Thanks for watching. We hope you enjoyed this video. Catch us next time on Neighborhood Nature.